standing here in front of one of our four gardens we have. This is our biggest one. We have our cucumbers. We have our tomatoes. We have green beans. We've got our potatoes. We've got our October sherry beans. And then we've got corn. We've got purple corn, strawberry popcorn, black popcorn, and squash and cantaloupe. And this is one out of four gardens that we have got this year. We're going to make biscuit and gravy. We got them yesterday. So, here's our new little pigs. Biscuit, what are you doing laying in the hog pen? Gravy, what's he doing laying in the hog pen? <laughs> Guys, this is biscuit and gravy. This is biscuit right here. And this is gravy. And they are a new addition to our family. Just for about eight months. <laughs> and they sure like to eat. And they like to lay in the trough. request to learn how to read a farmer's almanac. Well, I'm not that good, but I have a calendar and I will try to walk through some of it with you. Now this is a calendar and they come from the feed store, the old hardware store. You get them in about November. Uh, we usually get some for people for Christmas. And if you can't read one of these, best thing to do is go to Dollar General Store and buy you a Farmer's Almanac. This is just simpler to keep up with it every day. So, the basic thing is hunt your month. And down here along the bottom, it shows you what sign it's in. Like the feet, the feet. And from the feet, it's going over into the reins. And then the head, the head, it's always oh, going to you. It's going over to the neck, and the neck, then to the arms. What this actually is doing is following body parts. Now, you cannot can in the signs of the feet or the bowels and 
that's what it will smell like if you do but planting is a little different than canning you can can in any of these days except the feet and the bales planting you have uh, your best times usually is up here at the top of your almanac and it tells you the best days for certain roots of a plant you got above ground root crops seed crops tells you the best days to put those out which you can actually put them out in any days except your potatoes anything that grows up your potatoes have eyes so they need the seed to come up so here is what we talk about when we talk about the pointers it's basically a type of what the moon would be in these pointers here are down but these pointers here are up you plant potatoes when the pointers are up that way your eyes can grow up and all your seed produce will grow under the ground beets grow under the ground carrots grow under the ground anything that grows under the ground that you have to dig up you want to plant when the pointers are up and if you're a fisherman right here you've got it'll tell you when the best fishing days are these are best because they're color completely in these are poor fishing days are pretty good these are poor again so it gives you just kind of a a general rule to follow what you're doing now mama and i have just canned some zucchini relish yesterday and the signs were in the loins so that was a good day for canning it's in the thighs today the thighs and the knees and the knees and then it goes to the legs and the legs and the feet we can't can on Monday because it's in the feet and also I have tried this with my daughter that if you are weaning a baby from a bottle or the breast when the signs goes in the signs of the knees if you take their bottle then when it actually goes into the feet they should be completely weaned and won't whimper and cry for it I did take my daughter's bottle in that sign and it did work but that's basically your simple reading an almanac or a calendar knowing your signs so buy you one this fall when they come out or pick you up a farmer's almanac there's a lot of important stuff in a farmer's almanac that's not on a calendar and uh, they're very educational I hope this helped you this is granny again and Mick picked this out of my garden already. This is what we got today out of our garden. Now what you making? Well, I sliced up us a bunch of little cucumbers this morning. And I put some diced onions in it. And now I'm going to make a little bit of dressing to put over them and let them sit. This is a recipe that... Judy always made Every time she'd come home, she'd make this for Cindy and little Gina to eat. And now they're having me to make it, which mine's not like as good as Judy's was, but I'm a getting close. So I'm going to put, I'm going to start out with tablespoons of it. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise if I've got two tablespoons in here. Two tablespoons of 
half a spoon of mayonnaise and I'm going to put a tablespoon of vinegar and I'm going to put two tablespoons of sugar I'm going to put just a, oh, just a, maybe a teaspoon of milk. And I'm going to mix that up. Set in this, put them in the refrigerator and get them cold and let them set for about a couple hours. And there, Cindy, is your cucumber sauce. What are you eating, Granny? I'm eating a cucumber sandwich. I went out there in the garden, I peeled, picked me a cucumber, and I peeled it. And I put it between, it's a light bread. And I'm eating a, a cucumber sandwich. Fresh out of the garden. 